Hey everybody, it's Brad Bordessa from liveukulele.com and I'm going to show you how to play Pineapple Mango by Herbota Jr. and Daniel Ho. It's a very nice song, the melody is simple, but it's a beautiful melody, so it's fun to play no matter what your level is. It's in the key of G, and it sounds like this. Start by holding the G chord, which is 0, 2, 3, 2. Use your index finger on the 2nd fret of the C string, and then your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the bottom string, and your 3rd finger on the 3rd fret of the E string, the 2nd string. And then you play one strum on the G. And then you roll down from the 3rd string down to the 1st string, just holding that same G chord. So C, E, A, the strings. And then you add your pinky up on the 5th fret for a D note on the bottom string. And then you play a C note on the A string twice, 3rd fret. And then the 2nd fret, which is a B note. And then an open A. Then you play a D chord, which is just barring the top three strings on the second fret. You can do that with your first finger, second finger, second finger, and third finger, or you can put one finger for each string. However is easiest for you. So one strum on the D, and then you're going to do the same roll down on the bottom three strings, except you're holding the D chord this time. So C, E, A strings, and then this time you're going to play C and then on the 3rd fret of the a, a string and then twice on the B note on the 2nd fret of the A string and then open A and then a G note on the 3rd fret of the E string okay so from the beginning G And then you're going to do the G part again, and it's mostly the same. Except from here, on the high D, you go up to the 7th fret for an E note on the bottom string. Twice. And then to the C on the 3rd fret. And then open A. And then you're playing something that would go over another D chord, but I don't believe you play a D in there. But you're just going to play on the 2nd fret of the E string, twice, that's the F sharp note on the 2nd fret of the E string. And then the 3rd fret, which is a G, then an open A, and then a B note on the 2nd fret, and then back to the G on the 3rd fret of the E string. Okay, so all together. So that's what would be considered the verse. You can play that twice or as many times as you want, but I think in the song they do it twice. So then you go to the chorus, and the chorus is just going to be a G. You're going to play down, up, mute, up, sort of a strum. I hate explaining strums. And then you do two down strums on C. From there you're going to go into some picking. You're going to play open E, and then twice on a D note, second fret on the C string. Then you play open A on the bottom, and then a G note on the third fret of the E string. And then open A. And then you pick open A again and hammer on to the 2nd fret. And then you play twice on 
the G note on the third fret of the E string. to the verse and play around with it as many times as you want. For the verse, the chords are just G, C, and then D. G, C, D, back to G. That's all the chords are, all the way through. So those are really good chords to practice soloing over too. If you're into that kind of thing and you're trying to learn how to solo, you just use a G major scale over all of those and you see if you can come up with some cool melodies or something to add to the song. Until next time.